cool. Cool, man. Well, I'm excited to talk to you about this uh, smart rig that you guys that you'll be uh, launching at this CES uh, in the next week. So, you know, Extreme Electronics Show, I usually attend every year. This year it's all digital. So, we're doing Zoom interviews. So, uh, first off, tell me about your background and your involvement in this company. Okay, well, I spent 20 years in the British Army. I was a paratrooper, um, had a fantastic career all over the world. But um, after 20 years, I thought it was time to move on to do something else. Towards the end of that career, um, I had an idea for a dog toy based on personal experience. When I threw a stick for my little dog, he ran onto it, got injured. And so um, I got a proper telling off from the, um, the veterinarian and invented uh, a safe stick. So that was my first uh, entrepreneurial venture. Wow. Um, I had a couple of other uh, little successes and one or two learning experiences along the way. But, you know, it's fantastic stuff. Made a ton of it, uh, mistakes, but uh, all good. And then um, more recently, I was skiing with uh, an army buddy, just the two of us on a, a two week skiing holiday. And he very selfishly injured himself on day three. I know it was a little bit inconsiderate of him. It meant I had to ski by myself for, for the rest of the trip. So I took to wearing and listening to music, a pair of wired headphones that was connected to my smartphone. Yeah. But when I wanted to change the playlist uh, or change the volume or accept a, a call that was, um, was incoming, I would have to stop, take a glove off, reach inside my jacket, um, get the phone out, do the operation, put everything back, carry on. Yeah. Similar experience in the gym, rowing like an idiot uh, with uh, one hand on a rowing machine, just wanting to find a more motivational song. Um, and so, again, similar experiences on a bike. And so thought, right, we need, need a device. And so I um, left a corporate job about two years ago to start this company. Nice. And the company is what Arch X, right? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So this this uh, ring basically is is uh, it's Bluetooth, right? So it hooks up to your phone and everything else, or it is exactly. It is just very simply a little Bluetooth um, joystick on a ring. So think of it as a remote control for your phone. Oh, very cool. All right. So what are the uh, what? I mean, you said you could change music. What else could it do? You know. So the default, I've got, I've got one here to show you. This is uh, it's just a dummy. So um, the idea is it goes on an index finger, uh, sits beside the thumb, and um, it's flat at the bottom. So you can uh, hold on to a handlebar or a ski pole or whatever else. And uh, when you connect it, it'll work right out of the box. When you connect it to your phone, the default is a playlist. Most of us like listening to music, even going out for a walk or doing something else. Oh yeah, me too. Um, and so, yeah, you can change the volume up and down. Uh, skip the track, uh, move on to, uh, or go to the back track. Um, with the app, you get a whole host of, of extra features. So you can set up profiles. So instead of just connecting to a phone, you can connect um, through your phone to a wireless speaker. Um, so if you're outside, you can connect to um, quite a few sports cameras, not all, um, but also all sorts of different things. Uh, when you connect it to a laptop, it makes quite a neat little one-handed uh, presentation slide clicker. And so through the app, you can configure the controls, you can switch between those profiles, you can set um, the default SOS call. So it's set as a emergency services linked to the geolocation of the phone. So if you are um, you have an accident or uh, something goes wrong, you just a long press and hold and it will override everything and make a emergency services call or through the app, you can set that to friends or family. So it might be you just out for a walk or a run and you want to make a call to let someone know that you're on your way back, for example. Well, this is great because, I mean, even if you had like the Apple Watch, you still got to like move your hands over to get it. This, you got it like right there. I mean, that's yeah, that, that was our thinking that, you know, if you're using um, both hands for a set of handlebars or a kayak paddle or something, you don't really have the, I'm um, totally if you're traveling at speed, you don't have the, the time or the ability to take one hand off and focus on a watch. And sometimes wearing gloves, it can be difficult to control, you know, a little um, yeah. uh, control panel on a, on a set of uh, wired headphones. Yeah, especially working out and get sweaty and stuff too, you know? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Very cool. Uh, what, they come in, what, three different colors, right? Blue? Oh, three different colors. Yeah, blue, black, and orange. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, in terms of sizing, we wanted a ring that would that would fit uh, all finger sizes, but that, that wasn't practical. And 
given that the idea came to me in, in winter sports, I wanted something that I could maybe wear in the morning, going to the gym, but then I could take that same ring off, uh, put a pair of gloves on and stretch it over my glove finger. So there is a bit of stretch, about 20% in each of these, but rather than um, having customers having to figure out ring sizes and order a size and it not being right, um, we come up with a, a different option. So the tech is basically sits inside this little inner case, that's the joystick. And that is interchangeable between various sizes of these. It just pops out underneath. So when we ship it, we will ship with four different sizes. Um, and with the stretch of each one, that should cover pretty much all the finger sizes out there. So people can just, um, when they get it, uh, they can swap the tech in and out um, uh, to find a size that suits them. That's amazing. That's great. So is this uh, shipping now or you're launching soon? No. Or? Uh, we're launching soon. So CES is, um, yeah, is obviously our big reveal. Uh, so we're really excited about that. Um, we have then got another show. Um, it's normally held in Munich uh, called ISPO. So it's a big sports show. Um, that's all digital as well. That's on the 1st to the 5th of February. And after that, we're going to launch a Kickstarter early February to, um, to get us going. So, you know, we've bootstrapped this up to this point, but um, we need a bit of crowdfunding just to give us that um, ability to manufacture and launch. So uh, we should be able to ship in May. Oh, very cool. All right. So what's the website we can go to that uh, hopefully, I, I guess you'll have the link for the Kickstarter when it launches on there too, right? We will. Yes, we'll, we'll put that on. Um, the website for now is just arcx, A-R-C-X dot fit, F-I-T. All right. Thank you so much, Paul. Take your time. Talk to me and, and congratulations. I mean, this is going to be change the world, this device. So, you know. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> hey, great to talk to you. Yeah. Thanks for your time. All right, man. You take care. All right. All the best. Bye-bye.